Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tommy here. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This is the continuation of our Let's Play where we are trying to see everything that this game has to offer. We are sitting inside of the Drowned Abyss, a zone in which we passed through last episode actually fairly quickly. There seems to be three side quests in the area, so let's pick up the one that's on this bounty board. Diplomatic relations. Honey-eyed words can soothe troubled spirits. Help Claptrap use the power of talking things out to find a peaceful resolution. Deep in the bowels of the abyss. <laughs> Ooh, bowels. You shall find that a certain archaeologist is in distress and requires your aid. Of course, a certain archaeologist that I'm sure we will recognize. Whoa, I got a long way to travel. Hey, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today. I sincerely hope you enjoy today's episode. And I'll meet you down at Claptrap. Level 34. Let's see, what talent are we getting at level 34? Is this one that matters very much? No, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and put a point into imbued weapon. That way we unlock this next tier. Although, do I even want anything there? What level are we? 34. Okay, so I will be able to reach the bottom of our tier here then. Gun critical hits have a chance to instantly reset your spell cooldowns. Holy crap, that can be really good. Okay, well, eventually we'll make our way down there. We do have a 100% critical hit chance with our grenades right now. So with our additional points for our hero points, I'm going to be putting everything into strength for the rest of the game, trying to just up the amount of damage that our grenades are dealing. And it's substantial. Just like that fire damage was pretty substantial. Oof. All right. Wait, this isn't Claptrap. Who are you? Ah, hello. I'll get right to it, shall I? My team and I have been studying these ancient cliffs. Yeah, hieroglyphics. The have been playing upon us, and I'm all that's left. Perhaps you can, um, take care of them. I could do that. Now, for instance. Yeah, I'll just take care of this really fast for you too, bud. Nothing to it at all. This coiled mage, in fact, couldn't even move because they were frozen solid. Our voodoo grenade does hit that explosive barrel, taking out a couple more of the naga as they are appearing. You know what? This looks totally manageable, my dude. I'll be right back with you in a second. Hey, you good, bud? You all right, man? I need to take your picture for the Tribune. You know that, right? Why don't you face me real quick? We'll get a good look underneath that hood. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> well done. But that was just a raiding party. You'll have to kill all of them before we're safe. I got this. We need not resort to violence. The most powerful weapon of all is diplomacy. Why do I have a feeling this isn't going to go well? You're diplomats that would disagree. You're about as charming as a boot to the teeth. We're really? Ah, but I learned a new spell. Personify. It lets me absorb magical essence from nearby stuff and change my voice. Wait, Claptrap isn't even there. Yeah, exactly. How's he gonna do anything? Whoop, just a second. I also learned the Blink Apart spell. Who needs wheels when I've got like 15 spell slots left in the tank? Blab, <laughs> suckers! Claptrap! There's not a moment to lose. You know the magic missile? Meet me there. Oh no, I just missed him! To make my voice even more amazing. Have fun catching up with your dumb legs! Yeah, I um caught up to you really easily. Oh, he's gone again. Alright, well let's get the movement speed boost going. And wow, this is where the missile landed. Wait, it's, I thought we were doing non-violent. Is that all you needed? Oh, there's one more down there. Oh, we gotta take a photo of this. The lighting is perfect. <laughs> I was just appreciating earlier that he has all the knickknacks that we gathered in uh, in the, the dankness. He has the sword and the shield we put on him. He's really coming along. Oh, sorry. 
Sorry, I missed a barrel. I got so sidetracked by whatever you were doing. My voice, it's changing. It sounds exactly the same. Right, Claptrap, it's still you talking, and you're not allowed to talk to me that way. Also, how is this... How is this diplomacy if we're just gonna attack... Okay, they're not enemies yet, so maybe we're not gonna attack them. Here we are. I've had it. Listen up, maggots. I didn't come here for any namby-pamby empty threats or butt kisses. Oh, no. You're on a mission. A peace mission. Cease all hostilities immediately, and you'll sliver out of here alive. But if you screw with me, I swear on my circuits, I will scatter your scales all over this. That's not just that's not diplomacy. That's called intimidation. And you failed, Claptrap. OK, this seems like the one in charge. I'm going to focus as much damage as I can on to them. And our ice grenade took care of the rest really quickly. This one Naga was able to hide behind their shield on the side, but reinforcements are starting to slither into play. Claptrap, um, what part of me shooting them is diplomacy? Couldn't, maybe you could just answer that for me. Maybe that would help me understand. Man, this gun takes a long time to reload. All right, there you go. That was the most sorry excuse for negotiating I've ever seen. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Am I supposed to know where that is? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, none of that now. The first step to a successful negotiation is having a winning attitude. Don't be such a negative energy playing Nancy. You know, I don't disagree with that. Pedals for this metal. Yes, these are perfect. While I do the ritual, you frolic and prance around the flowers. Frolic and... Can't believe I'm about it's seriously to that's my quest objective frolic and, and prance is it just i just had to jump three times oh my god Far out, bro. All right, I'm here. You, you know, you don't really need to teleport. It's not that far. I keep my steel ready. Save us some time. Hey, everyone, listen. We are all children of the universe. Yeah, bro. Like, stop killing our archaeologists, brothers, and sisters, and give peace a chance. That would be like far out. Make love, not war, you know? Yeah, oh, it didn't work. I will say, I think that was a much better attempt. I feel I feel like he's come a long way in a very short amount of time. We do get up with the death save, the Declan. Absorbing quite a lot of our damage and dishing back a lot as well. But that's just the beginning of this onslaught. Another coiled priestess in the back corner. Okay, let's do a big reposition here. Send in the voodoo grenades in the back. They should land, and they have. That shield absorbed quite a lot, though. Once that shield was taken away, that priestess fell in just a matter of moments. Let's swap out guns. I got a new SMG. It's a fire SMG. I haven't shot it yet. Looks like it's a Hyperion. The fire rate on this thing is nuts. That should melt through enemies quite nicely. In fact, look at that. Look at that burn damage. I just had to shoot one more time. Clapjab, are we good? Oh, excuse me. I thought that spell came from the person I just slayed. No, I'm sorry, bud. Okay, I admit that could have gone better. But this next voice is sure to charm them. We tried aggressive, we tried peaceful. Now we need to find an opportunistic middle ground. Piracy! <laughs> I saw a sunken pirate ship that's probably loaded with treasure we can use. Come on! Uh, do you... Piracy, are we giving them treasure? Was that? You're trying to seduce them? It sounded better in my head. Pretty much everything 
does actually. Your voice to voice check. <laughs> Tip to visit that. Anchor to hoy. Yeah, I'm here. What, what are we doing? First, we need some pirate ambiance. Minion, slash some buckles or something. Pirates love fighting. Is Let's there... I'll hit anyone you like. But there's no one here but us. I'll hit you if you want. Minion, I'm, uh, I'm kind of busy. Hit you know someone. I just figured it out. What if I hit this? Oh no, that doesn't count. Claptrap, it's gotta be you, my dude. Ow! Ow! Ouch! Uh, you know what? Change of plans. I can't do my thing when you. <laughs> That's another really good scream. Hey, Claptrap, I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. Let me just get this straight. Uh, that's another really good screenshot. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yo, we have 200 screenshots that we've taken in photo mode now throughout this series and we just play with my friends. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite feature of this game. Okay, smack the chest. You got it. I can't wait to be a swashbuckling scurvy ridden pirate. It has a tea set in it? Good heavens. This isn't a pirate ship. It's a tea merchant special. A tea merchant. Your spell is so loud. Oh, I have a feeling this one's actually going to be the worst. Unless, you know, underwater snakes, humanoids like tea. I mean, I guess that's possible, right? You know, like there's someone or something. <laughs> they just, they felt like they were being watched when he popped up. All right, I'm here. What's the plan? I said, you there. Surely we need not resort to fisticuffs and firearms to resolve our differences. Perhaps we can join in a rousing verse of the Anthem of Peace. Yes, the Anthem of Peace, guys. Fight no more. Yes, good, Claptrap, good. <laughs> hey, how do you guys feel? Can we take a photo for Tiny Tina's Tribune? <laughs> It doesn't seem like it's going well. It doesn't seem like it's going well at all. Hey, we might just scare them away, though. This could be like a big deterrence. Oh, well, they're in pain. Oh, he's chasing them. They jumped off a cliff to get away from Claptrap. <laughs> that was fiercely terrible. I haven't seen folk react like that since, well, fairly recently, actually. Indeed. Well, I suppose I have no choice. I swore I'd never stoop this low again. I'm gonna have to use my real voice. Oh no. Let's go. I'm kind of lost at the moment. There's our new track. Oh, I wasn't far at all. So I, I didn't intentionally Sudoku off the side of that cliff, uh, but it seems like the, the Naga did. Claptrap's going to try to use his real voice to resolve this situation. Maybe only if he's true to himself will this situation be resolved. Hey, bud. Oh, he teleported again. He didn't go far, though. Wait, is this how they got around him not being able to take stairs or jump? They just gave him a teleport ability? That's pretty hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. Wait, that's your real voice? Wait, what? Idiot. My character yelled that at something else, not at Claptrap, but it might be applicable. Hey. Oh, this is going well. Yeah, my dude. Hey, beautiful. If I had a jar to dislocate, it'd be on the floor right now. Oh my goodness. It's working, dude. They are falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Pun intended. Do you get it? It's a it's a fish joke. Pretty good one too, if you Yeah, if I do say so myself. Oh, we're going up to the queen. Hey there, sugar fangs. 
Sugar fangs. Because Claptrap's on the scene. I know you're coiled, but maybe we can unwind over some negotiation. Yeah. Oh. Well, isn't this a delicious surprise? Yes. Why don't you roll inside and we can work out the details? Um, I'm not seeing hearts show up over her head. So I don't think it worked on the queen. Let me shed into something a bit more comfortable. Well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, hey now. Slow down, Snake Mama. No need to get impatient. Snake Mama? <laughs> Come on. I thought you wanted peace. You can have any piece of me you want. Oh, my goodness gracious. Down, girl. I'm not rated for that kind of configuration. Mm, you know, I've never constricted with a robot before. I kind of feel like I shouldn't be hearing this. Oh, damn. I'm out of spell slot. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to blink away, but he couldn't. I guess negotiations are over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. You know what, Claptrap? You tried your best, my dude. No one can fault you for that. And honestly, that went better than I thought it was going to. He did a pretty good job. Okay. Is she sending out shadow clones? Is that what I just saw there? That's a little scary. Using our ice blast as we round about the corner, we almost got through the shields. There we go. Let's make sure we relocate back to cover. Uh, we will get a little bit of our shielding back whenever we cast a spell or whenever we reload. So I was kind of just waiting on cooldowns there. With the shields down, her health is melting much faster. Although that priest next to her, or maybe that's the boss themselves, channeling this red stuff. I am not a fan of that. I need to use my voodoo magic just to heal at this point. Every single one of those projectiles gives me a little bit of health back. And actually quite a lot when you add it all together like that. Okay, most of the ads are down. The sand collar, man, that was a tanky sand collar. Holy shit. The actual boss themselves at half HP, every single seeker hitting them in the abdomen. And with one final ice blast, we take them down. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, they still want me to, to kill the rest of them. That kind of seems unnecessary with the, you know, the leader down. And All right, I'll do it. This isn't negotiation anymore. This is kind of genocide. Just putting that out there. All right, bud. Have I'm coming for you. Brother out of a jam, would you? So, th that's his real voice, huh? It's coarse and rough and tastes terrible. I heard that right, didn't I? He's using his real voice right now. All right, looks like we have to do a little bit of a parkour to get over there. I really rolled in it this time. <laughs> but not too shabby. What is this right here? Oh, is this a secret? Is this a secret? This feels like a secret would be here. Okay, I can't pick that up yet, but I'm glad I found it. Uh, it seems like Claptrap is upside down in a field of sharks. We'll help you, bud. Don't worry. Just hang on a second. I've almost taken care of it. Almost taken care of it. All right, we took care of all of them. You okay? Ow, you hit me. Yeah, I did. Oh, hey, you freed me. Yes, you fixed my <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime, Happy to help. Just say the word. Seriously. One more word in that voice and I'll knock you proper. That's not true. Hey. Well, I guess we should tell Quibble the good news. Do we have any good... I mean, we did take care of all of them, I guess. I don't think it was in the way we intended to. <laughs> hey, he didn't have to use stairs there. He just fell down to the ground. All right, we're back. Me and Claptrap, we did a great job. You won't see those coiled corn around here anymore. So, the negotiations went well? Diplomacy worked? Yes? It was a disaster. But like I said, I took care of it. Ah, oh, I see. Well, as long as I can do my work in peace, I'm satisfied. Well done. Poof. 
Now that there are no enemies nearby, I can finally take a long rest. And get all your spell slots back. <laughs> and he's just out. Look at that. Look at that. Well, that was a super fun side quest, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. We will be back again tomorrow with another episode. There's two more quests in the zone. We'll probably knock them both out in a single go and then see where else the depths of the ocean take us. Thank you guys for being here. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out, and I'll see you again soon.